All right, guys, let's take a look and see how the karmic is feeling about divine masculine. Okay, so let's see how this karmic is feeling about the masculine. What's going on between the karmic and the masculine? Welcome back. If you're returning and if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm the Empress. And I'm going to do a collective read for you guys. So this is for all signs. It is a general read. We're checking in, doing a little, getting our little, you know, little spy on and see what's going on with the karmic and the masculine. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if somebody, for some of you, somebody is married. And I'm seeing this karmic saying she can't wait for it, there to be a divorce or a separation. I'm getting surprised that this masculine left or is cheating or being sneaky. But she says she'll be surprised if he go back. She'll be surprised if he go back to you. Because she feels like no effort isn't going to be put in, like, treated, treated right. She feels like you're not going to treat him right. Yeah, I'm getting some bitter-ass energy. Somebody said that you were bitter. And he was going to regret it. So she over there telling the masculine, talking about you. Yeah, she feels like it's going to slow him down a little bit. He ain't going to be able to talk to his friends. Do things like what she she's trying to say. Like, he won't be able to do things if he was to go back to you. Okay, so tell me how this garment feels about this masculine. Because we want to know how she feel about him. She all uh, worry about the wrong thing. She just all worry about the wrong thing. Temperance. Yeah, it keeps saying if he, if he goes back, she'll be surprised. I'm hearing take him out sometimes. She want this masculine to take her out sometimes. <laughs> so she's trying to get the masculine to take her out on a date. She want to go out. She want to hang out. She want to do something fun. Yeah, she want to. She, she want to see what he's gonna do first. So I see her spying. She could be looking through his phone. I see that as well too. I mean, at first, let me look through that phone. <laughs> She feels extremely drained. Like, she feels like, hold on, something ain't right. It's too quiet. It's too peaceful. Where the drama at? Like, it's too peaceful. She's kind of, like, suspicious. Maybe he's being too quiet. I'm hearing he being too quiet. All of a sudden, he's just real quiet. And I see her being real suspicious. Very. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's trying to figure out what's on his mind. So she about to try to start an argument. <laughs> to try to get him to talk. <laughs> she said, you too, you being too quiet. Like... You ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess she's trying to trying to shake him by trying to, you know, take him out on a date or get her to take him out to try to get his mind off of it. But she knows something's on his mind, but she can't figure out what it is. Could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Yeah, I'm hearing he started just being real calm and quiet all of a sudden. Like, he just quiet all of a sudden. Like, he got something on his mind. And he do. We're going to talk about it. He do. Yep. I'm here and talk to me. <laughs> She's surprised because she feel like the relationship falling apart. And... Mm -mm. She is doing everything that she can to try to make sure that he keeps his interest on her. Definitely spying. When I say she's spying on him, she either want to ask, you know, trying to go through that phone. She's spying on him online. The moon and the page of source is definitely spying. But I'm here and trying to see what's wrong. Because she feel like things done slowed down. He done slowed down to to damn it. It's almost like he stopped. Uh, you know, kind of like is 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 things have come to a halt. Yeah, she feels like he cheating. She feel devastated because she feel like a relationship falling apart. She feels like he's falling for something. Somebody is getting so, oh, I'm getting, when I say she feel like he falling for something, I'm seeing the star and the six of wands and the chariot. Somebody is headed towards stardom. Somebody is headed towards success. Um, oh, I'm hearing she was waiting for this masculine to ask her to marry her and give her a ring. I'm here. You know what time it is. You coming back over here whenever you feel like it. Whenever you oh, that's not that's not gonna you're not gonna be able to come back and forth like that. I feel like the masculine kind of like you know he he his mind somewhere else. Yeah, she think he can get away. So you she said so you think you can get away with it. Somebody said that they're forcing a relationship. So the masculine feels like this relationship has become too forced. I'm hearing, I'm seeing that this masculine, she's trying to figure out who's on this masculine mind. Cause she could tell, she could tell. She done started crying. She started crying. The tears start, I'm seeing the tears start rolling down her face. I'm here, I don't deserve to be treated like that. He ain't been giving her no attention. He ain't been giving her no act right. And things not going as planned lately. So he just not there. Like his he there, but his mind not there. He told her that he was gonna be a changed man, but she feel like this masculine wants to return back to an ex. Okay. We got the nine of cups, six of cups. And she thought that the masculine was gonna ask her to marry her and give her a ring. So he finally opens up. He she finally gets him to talk. I feel like she may take him out on a date to try to get him to be a little closer because she could tell that something's on his mind. Um, and she feel like the connection falling apart. She's trying to keep his attention off of any other female. Okay. Yeah, she feel like real drained. 
very drained. She's trying to hold on to it for as long as she can. She holding on to this situation for as long as she, for dear life. When I say for dear life, for dear life, this connection, I feel like it's already reached its breaking point, but she's just holding on to it. He's saying, look, he getting pretty, he ready for a break. And I'm hearing him say, look, I just hope you know what you're doing. I just hope you know what you're doing. Because things moving fast, something going on. And he not saying nothing about it, but he want to take some type of leap of faith. He want to take some type of risk. But he's scared to do it, but he want to go back to somebody from his past. He's regretting the way he walked away from the Empress here, which is the Divine Feminine. He felt like he did he did not do it the right way. I'm hearing, but he feels like the Divine Feminine may feel like, um, you know, looking at what a man is supposed to do. He's looking at that. Like, those things are ringing in his head. Like, she expects for me to do this. This is, you know, he's looking at everything and is trying to figure out, is he qualified? I'm hearing there's problems about giving each other attention. Yep, I'm hearing, I hope you know what you're doing or I'm going to leave. Yep, and cheat. Seven of Swords. He said he's gonna leave. And and cheat and come back whenever he feel like it. I'm mean, just hearing also he could be cheat and leave, go to his mama house, sister house, grandma house, whoever, but it's a feminine energy here. And he changed his clothes. He do everything over there. Yep. I feel like he told promised this uh this other party that he was going to be a changed man, but I feel like he's really, really stressing out, worried. He's trying to see what she's going to say if she's going to come in and, you know, see what, you know, come in and see what she's going to try to fix and see what she got to say. But she's trying, she's hanging on to this connection for dear life. When I say for dear life, oh goodness. She feel bad. Because she feel like it's coming to an end. She ain't getting no attention. He not paying attention like how he usually do. So I see there might be arguments over money as well. And she said he, he don't make no moves unless she do it. Um, but I do see a, a argument. There could be a disagreement about some money. Wow. This masculine got somebody on. This masculine thinking about divine, going back to divine feminine. But this karmic, she keeps manipulating him with tears okay she's manipulating him with her with tears making him feel guilty show me how, what this masculine feels about this this karmic this karmic has her eyes on me 24 Seven. I don't like being here no more. Just don't have a choice right now. Wow. I told you he don't want to be there no more. He tired of being there. Please just stay away from me right now. I'm not in a good place mentally. And I feel like that's what he's telling that corn me. That's what he's that's what he's telling that Carmen. And that Carmen done started picking up. Like something ain't right. He's acting funny. He acting funny is he acting funny for a reason. Let me pull three more. 
else does this masculine feel about the karmic? I just want you to know I'm starting to get fed up and I'm planning on leaving her. Oh, well, this just flew out. We treat each other like shit behind closed doors. Mm. The sex with her isn't that great. It's whack. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I felt that. The karmic knows I have an emotional connection with someone else. And see, that's the thing. So she uses her emotion to draw him back in and keep him there and make him feel guilty, make him feel bad for walking out. But at the same time, this masculine getting fed up with that. This masculine getting tired of dealing with them, them tears. Hmm. That's what I got, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.